Joshua 8, 8. And it will be when you have taken the city that you shall set the city on fire. According to the word of the Lord shall you do. See, I have commanded you. So what Joshua was doing was bringing judgment about the city, making sure God's people could be uplifted and not be brought back down by the same people. Okay, uh, Titus 3, 3 and 4. Okay. All of us at one time or another were foolish, disobedient, deceived, and enslaved to the passions and pleasures. What it's talking about is we were foolish enough to follow our flesh down a road of sin. We're all sinners without Jesus, is what it's talking about. He made a change in us. We should no longer be striving to live this way. We showed malice, were jealous, and disliked, or even hated others, especially if they hated us. We as Christians are changed where we love our enemy. Because God loved us and loves us. But when the kindness and the love of God was shown to us in Christ, and we welcomed him into our lives, a new power began to operate within us. The change is what he's talking about here. If you don't have this change, then you don't have Christ. But as we submit to him, more and more change does happen as he works to make us more in his image.